look at this. There are 2,444 subscribers in my trading group and we've been killing it. I want to give a few shout outs to my trading group. CBC, thank you so much. I'm up $13,000 this week. Your group's amazing. I made $47,000 in April because of your setups. You're, this person's up 2,400, 1,500, 647%. This person doubled my money after a phone call that we had uh, just yesterday. This person said, I woke up and I had 73% gains in data. Thank you. I woke up with 58% gains while I was sleeping. Another thousand dollars. That's four thousand dollars in seven days. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where everybody's calling out breakouts, posts, and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos. You'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day, and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me, CryptoBitcoinChris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum, 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this video, I want to ask you guys, smash the like button. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna make sure that you're very profitable, very successful in the cryptocurrency space. I post daily YouTube videos, cover technical analysis, Bitcoin, altcoins, altcoin setups, all the news you need to know to be very successful in this market. Leave a comment in the comment box. Jumping right into the market today in crypto. Ugh, Bitcoin pullback. Bitcoin's right about 9,000, 9,020. So this is the 12 hour chart, which we've been talking about. You can see this white macro trend line that, hey, Bitcoin's been respecting for a extended period of time, two months, and it broke to the downside previously, previously, okay? So we had something change at that point, bells had to go off, okay? So we have been talking about this idea now. Uh, these vertical lines mark the previous bearish MACD crosses. Bearish MACD crosses are sell signals. So you had one given right here, essentially 97.90. And then you had a bearish MACD cross at about 9,800, the most recent one. Definitely learn to trade the MACD. The higher time frame, this 12 hour chart, probably the, the sweet spot for me. If you're busy and you just want to trade some of these larger swings, a couple trades, you know, here and there. MACD buy signal on the 12 hour chart, MACD sell signal as well, obviously in this situation. Now, right now the price action is holding at about 9,000. If 9,000 doesn't hold, 8,800, 8,500, 8,200 are the next levels lower. I got a couple of shout outs to my trading group. We've been killing it. This is ridiculous. Look at these gains. It's from today. This person made 17 Ethereum, 4,139 US dollars. Life changing money. This trade, he made 1.8 Bitcoin, close to $16,000 at this point. Said, hey, thanks, Chris. Next person stated, I opened my shorts. His realized gains were 20 XBT. XBT is Bitcoin. He made 20 Bitcoins, 20 Bitcoins. The game changes when you're able to trade this market both ways, like you don't even sweat it. Like let Bitcoin drop. I'm making money going either direction. This person stated, oh, this is off of VeChain. He said, I make up, I got my own rules. He says, when the market crashes, I short the best performer. He shorted VeChain, 20X short. He made 50%. Most important thing to understand about this market is you see here, like you'll get this big sell off and then a bounce, a big sell off and then a bounce, right? It moves in waves. It's important to know that when it's when Bitcoin is trending lower, it will give you a little bit, but take more back. Give you a little bit, take more back. They're trying to trick us. They're trying to take our money. Now, this is a Bitcoin four hour chart. Clear, valid rising wedge has broken to the downside. Okay, so I mean, if we, uh, you know, took a measured move of this, you're probably looking at 
7,000. Okay. Again, that's not, hey, I made this number up or I picked it. It's just the, the, the measured move of this pattern break to the downside. Now, there is this smaller uh, falling wedge that's potentially uh, still valid depending on how this price action closes. Again, the previous bearish scenario, if this trend line breaks, expect more downside and it happened. I mean, it was a move from 9,300 to 9,000, not a huge move, but these altcoins got hit pretty hard. You got a possible double bottom down here on the RSI. There's possible uh, bullish divergence on the RSI and the histogram. So if the bulls are able to hold this level, you know, that you could see a bounce here. Now, if it breaks lower, again, 9,000 becomes 8,800, becomes 8,500. There's a lot of negative news as far as the traditional markets, which we're going to talk about. So again, all eyes on Bitcoin. Meanwhile, stocks are getting completely wrecked. Now, look at the traditional markets. The Dow futures fall 600 points on pre-market trading. My thought is this stock market bubble that's been created by the United States' unlimited quantitative easing, like, hey, we're just going to print money and fix the economy, which obviously doesn't work, created this bubble. And now how much lower our stock market is going to go. And then you just have to think about what the actual reality of this economy is. Is the United States going to come out and just print more money? And then how does that help crypto? It does, obviously, right? Keep printing the dollars. Bitcoin, they're only going to make $21 million. Now, You guys got to remember, like if you guys have been watching the channel, this is not new news. Like this is not like I can't believe this is happening. Like we talked about it here. If the trend line breaks, expect more downside. We talked about it here. This is from the 8th. Seven days ago, Gemini had a pump to 10,000, 10,190. Here's my long wick theory. Like, uh, it's happened before. It's about 75% accurate. Anytime you get a long wick on the uh, top of the price action, 75, 80% of the time, you get a pullback and you get a move to the downside. Okay. And so we were talking about this quite a few days ago and it takes time to play out like you don't always get these instantaneous moves in the market you know so these are important things to make notes on you know always when you watch the channel make notes on these ideas it's hard to remember what's going on a week ago a week ago today we were talking about i mean imagine selling 10,000 10,190 and then now it's at 9,000 that's a pretty big i mean it's 10% for bitcoin you know bitcoin doesn't move like these altcoins do these altcoins got hit a lot harder you can see this is a five minute chart that we've been talking about. I actually had a Discord last night talked about this. This symmetrical triangle, if this breaks lower, 9,300, 9,200, 9,000. Here we are, below 9,000. Waterfall, don't go chasing waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Now, is it putting in like some type of inverse head and shoulder-ish type pattern? It's trying to reverse left shoulder, head, possible right shoulder so again if it breaks out higher it's trying to reverse you know you but you got this parabolic move to the downside you know this still needs confirmation and it still might come up here and uh, pop and, and and roll over so you definitely need to be careful nailed it this is blz so these retests are golden like whenever you get a pullback to support we talked about this in yesterday's video um you get these you get these bounces this possible retest brings new buyers into the market blz up 35% on this retest. Learn to buy retest. Now, earlier today I stated altcoin trading is high risk. This is about 620. The altcoin trading guys is high risk. Like it's, it's not looking good, it's not gonna be good. And so a person reached out to me and said, hey, thanks for warning everyone not to trade crypto at the moment. Not only did I not trade, I put everything in USDT. I tethered up, I saved a ton of money because of this. I wanna make sure that people don't take a bunch of losses. Practice with small amounts. I want you guys to look for oversold balances. Use the RSI on this. So this is a good scanner. CryptoAlerts.ai. You can scan right now, technically, you could scan all the altcoins. Whatever has the biggest oversold levels on the RSI, you'll see the biggest bounces. So if we go back here to kind of back test this idea, all right, if we look right here, you got oversold RSI, oversold RSI, huge bounce out of Bitcoin. Bitcoin ran from 4,800, even lower, 4,400 to 7,000 here. Okay, here it was close to happen again. Ran from 8,800 to 10,000. Here, you can pretty much 
count on it. Any of these big dips here, this big dip right here, 6,500 ran to 7,600. Just learn one strategy about trading this market, the game changes. And this is an easy one. You're just looking for oversold bounces on the RSI, V-shaped recoveries. Now, this is GRS. I got a setup for you guys on this one. June the 22nd, they have a ton of major releases coming out. Grosso Coin Core 2.19.1, Web Wallet 1.5. They got HODL GRS iOS, Unstoppable GRS, and Unstoppable GRS Testnet. A long list of things happening on June the 22nd. The countdown, seven days, is coming. They also recently. Uh, you're able to use GRS to buy Amazon gift cards through Grossel or through Polis Pay application. So here is the GRS setup. Not that you would ever trade this or listen to anything I say. However, some people may consider buying the breakout. If you don't know how to set stop losses, you don't know how to buy breakouts, don't trade this. Just fast forward to the targets are listed over here in the white boxes. Jumping right into the market. This is pre-market getting wrecked even more. Man, the United States is going to wake up. I wonder what's going to happen to Bitcoin in the morning. I mean, just think about it. You, you're in the U.S. Everybody's probably sleeping right now. You and me pulling all-nighters like it's nothing because that's what we do. Life-changing money. I got to be here for you guys 24 hours a day. On call. Alerts on deck. Now, yeah, what about this second wave of this panic situation? I, remember, it's important to consider that what's going on in the United States as far as there's a lot of public gatherings right now. And how does this affect this second wave of the panic situation? How we, will we see the big sell-off continue in the stock market? This is Bitcoin CME futures. There is a small gap created up here that didn't quite get filled yet. This is the hourly chart. It's at about 94.50. So Bitcoin CME futures, it gapped down. So that means it um, the price action was lower than it was when it closed previously. So it created this gap overhead. Now, Bitcoin, you can see, has been is holding 9,000. It'd be great to see some type of little double bottom down here. We talked about double bottoms uh, a video or two ago. I talked about them in detail. You get these double bottoms and reversals. You know, that would be, if you want to build a build, bullish case for Bitcoin right now, bulls got to hold 9,000. But Bitcoin dominance. Remember, Bitcoin dominance. It's like the on-off switch for these altcoins. And as this climbs higher, like this is a reversal type pattern, right? Which happens all the time. Look here, you had this huge run up and then a huge pullback, huge run up and a huge pullback. And so the key is you wanna trade altcoins when this is falling, right? So you just have to be more selective. Like in, in the group, we always find the winners, but you just, again, you just have to be smarter about it. We got, I got a list. I've got a list of all these main net launches that are coming the end of the month, and they're still going to see amazing amounts of upside. Life-changing money is made in this market, but you have to adjust your strategy to trade this market, right? You can't just say, okay, I'm going to do this one thing, and it's going to work all the time because it's not. It doesn't work like that. And as soon as you find a good strategy that works, everything changes. The market does something different, right? ADA, well, I talked to you guys about this the other day. I said, hey, you guys always have to buy the hype, buy the hype, buy the hype, sell the event. The test net launch right here, what happened? Sell off right now. Uh, and I and I told you guys like, hey, I didn't nail the top over here. I didn't nail, I don't even care though. I, I, I sold my ADA right here. Then, you know, obviously ADA's pulled back considerably from 80, 878 Satoshis now down to 780 Satoshis. Now it's building this falling wedge but notice there was this fat flash crash down to about 700 satoshis who bought that dip but if you look right here look at this so you see let me see if i can move this over so you guys can see it you see this right here that's when the rsi is oversold it was 16 right here okay look right here remember we we're talking about oversold bounces here it's 17 right here okay watch this when oh it's freaking spiking right now as we speak listen Watch these, watch this, watch how easy this is. You get RSI at these levels, right? Keep 20% of your money on the sidelines in USDT or whatever stable coin you're comfortable with, USD, and wait for these opportunities. I was up a tremendous, I was up 312% in 2018 when everybody was getting wrecked because I just, my strategy was, hey, I wanna buy the double digit red days. When all these altcoins are getting wrecked, why? Because they bounce back quickly. They bounce back quickly because bots buy on the same idea. So look, let's look. Here, you've got oversold levels, oversold right here. Boom, move to the upside. Another one right here, it's oversold right now. Okay, so watch what ADA does. Here's another one, oversold, oversold, boom, move to the upside. 
again, the key is this. Adjust to what the market, on a big pullback, let's say you've taken some losses, probably a a lot of people got stopped out. You know, I, I talk to you guys, you gotta have a stop loss on every single trade, on every single setup, on every single coin you're in. A lot of people got stopped out, they took some losses. How, what's an easy way to make that money back? Oversold bounces, V-shaped recoveries. Right, you gotta be careful with this. You know, Bitcoin rolls over again and you know it won't be pretty. But after you see some stability in the market, other these other altcoins start taking off as far as oversold bounce, bounce levels, use that screener I talked to you about in the beginning. JP Morgan Chase is now positive on Bitcoin. Here it is. Banks are positive on Bitcoin. Why did it dump? Right here. Thanks, thanks, JP Morgan. Soon as soon as mainstream starts to catch on and say, hey, this is legit, this is good. Bye, bye, bye. Sells off every time. Just think about how many retail investors are bought Bitcoin at 10,000, not knowing any better. They positive news that comes out in mainstream. As soon as that happens, you have to think, okay, gotta counter trade the herd proper way of building a crypto portfolio. I don't think long-term holding is a viable option in this market. I really don't. Like I, I, I figured it out the hard way. Like this market, you get huge, you know, 100%, 200%, 300% gains, and then you get 95% pullbacks. You do not want to hold the downtrends in this market. Just as an example, the trend is your friend as long as it's an uptrend. If you're a holder or you're buying these dips, it works as long as the market's trending higher. Okay, think about it. You're buying this dip, well, it, it pumps and then it dips again. You buy this dip, it pumps. Because every low is higher than the previous low and every high is as well, right? So you have an uptrend. Over time, you're going to make money with this strategy, but we're not quite there yet. Ethereum as an example. Look, you got this high and then this low. Well, this high is not higher. This is a lower high. It's not higher than this low. It's still a downtrend. Then you got a lower low. This low is lower than the previous low. Now we're putting in another lower high. Again, this is a downtrend. Until this starts to change, then when this starts to trend higher, so you need a series of higher highs and higher lows going forward. So if it comes in here and then starts here, then yeah, long-term holding makes sense. But you got to be patient. You just can't freaking pick a spot and just say, I'm holding. I mean, yeah, if you want to wait six months, eight months, take losses through that period of time, that's just not. Go sit down in front of your Fidelity advisor, your financial advisor, and say, hey, should I just take, this is dropped from $275 to $118 to, how would you want to hold something? Look at this price action. Like huge move to the upside. Imagine if you bought $1,400 Ethereum, right? Like, I'm just telling you guys, like you want to understand that this market is cyclical. We're getting closer, bull run ready. We're getting closer to a period where you're going to get a continued uptrend over time. We're not quite there yet. My strategy is more about, hey, let me buy here and I'm busy and I'm busy and I'm busy and then me get as close as I can to selling here. Let me buy as close as I can to here and let me sell as close as I can to here. All right, so I'm getting these gains and I'm not taking these losses, right? So I had this kind of hybrid approach to this. Like, I don't wanna ride the downtrends. If you skip this part of the market cycle, you're gonna be extremely successful trading this market. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much, I'll see you guys tomorrow.